Hey folks, Rob with Two Guys in a Ride, and today I'm with this beautiful vehicle owned by Nick. And I love the name of the color, but I'm not going to give it away because I don't want to take up too much of Nick's time telling you about what he's done with this vehicle and why he has this vehicle. So I'm going to let him introduce himself and his car to you, and especially the name of the color because I love it. So Nick, why don't you take it away? Thank. Uh, the name of the color is Gotta Have It Green, and they've only done it for the years 2013 and 2014. And I originally went with uh, the Wile E. Coyote theme uh, based off the name of the motor. When Ford redesigned their 302 motor, they designated it the Coyote motor. And um, when showing some pictures to my sister, she kind of reminded me of the, the family tradition of watching the Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner cartoons. And I just kind of went with a tribute to my folks. And that's hence the, the whole uh, theme of the Wile E. Coyote. Now you were, you were telling me though, you've changed this from last year's car show. You had it out here and you were talking about the stripes that used to have the hockey stick black on the side. Right, I had the, the boss style hockey stick stripes, um, just the, the black over the top and then the hockey stick along the side. And it seems like after six years, a lot of people were kind of getting the same idea. And uh, I'm one of them kind of people, I like to change things up and I like to be different than everybody else. So um, being a New York Giants fan, I've always been uh, partial to that, that dark blue, they call it sapphire blue. So I spoke to my graphics guy and uh, he gave me some samples of some sapphire blue striping and he designed a one-off custom tribal stripe design and hence we've got along the side the, the new graphics. And I, folks, yeah, I've got some still <laughs> pictures and you'll see it, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's a great contrast to this green and I definitely hope that uh, the film is picking up the the gold flake that you have in this green. I actually asked Nick, I said, now, was this a stock color? And he's like, yes, it is, but it just looks like it's just been poured over the metal of this car. It just shines right. so much, and it is a beautiful sunny it, day today, it, but it's, it's, it's gorgeous. It's, it's one of those colors that it, you have to have in the sun to, to give it justice. Um, you know, on a cloudy day, it kind of reminds you of the, if you got kids and they do the sidewalk chalk, it's that real flat pastel look to it but when you get it out in the sun and all the gold pearl comes out of this paint it's just a phenomenal color now nick tell us about the engine compartment and one of the cool features you have here uh is here on the front panel and also on the rocker cover covers uh you've got wiley coyote uh yeah form. this is uh so some people might be familiar with hydro dipping and a friend of mine, uh, Travis uh, Coyer from Coyer Hydro Dipping in Rochester, did the, he managed to find the Wiley e. Coyote graphics for me, and he did the radiator cover, coil covers, and the battery box cover for me in the hydro dipping. And then who did your, uh, your and cover up Tanner here? Howard from A1 Tattoo in Hastings did the uh, the Wiley e. Coyote mural on it. Oh. And uh, for his first time working with this, this felt material, did an excellent job, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I love it. Now, have you done anything to the engine? Uh, just a JLT uh, big air intake, and okay. then I changed the exhaust to the pipes uh, muffler delete. And you were saying it's putting out about how many horsepower uh, now? With, with the tune, it's running about 465 in horsepower okay. right now. <laughs> Have you been playing with that horsepower? Do you like to play with it? Or uh, you, you, you respect it enough to well, know that it can at, get you in at trouble? At my age, I like to keep the cops from chasing <laughs> me. So, yeah, I try to keep it down a little bit. And you like to keep it between the lines, I imagine, and off the trees. Yeah, exactly. Now, uh, tell me, you had someone sign the dashboard of this, too. Uh, yes, uh, out at the Sturgis Mustang Rally in uh, 2017, uh, Roush Racing's drift driver, Justin Pollock, was out, uh, and he autographed my dash for me. Uh, so does this body style Mustang hold any uh, special meaning to you, or you just like the, the look um, of this one, the retro look I, and then I, the color? I believe the, uh, 12, the 2012 is when they started this body style. And one of the things that grabbed me is it still shows, it gives you the, 
the old some of the old lines from the old mustangs right. and being a mustang fan um it gives you a little bit of taste of the old and the new combined and that's what i like about it too and i was telling you earlier with this color it actually shows all the body lines of the retro mustang uh fantastic it's it's just it's absolutely gorgeous and i'm i'm seriously hoping that my video does it justice with the color that it is but it's got to have it green and this is uh your ford mustang coyote wiley coyote edition and uh with a little bit of giant's blue mixed in so <laughs> nick we appreciate you telling your story thank you for sharing with us thank i you. know people are going to enjoy seeing this car and folks if you get a chance ever to to uh, see nick at a car show we're at the apple valley all ford car show today uh come check out this car in person because i know video is not doing it justice thank you so much sir ah!